Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a laptop Alienware and this is an Alienware 17 R5 and this is comes with an iCore 7 8th gen but yours might be a little bit different. In this video I'm gonna go over step by step how you can open it up and how you can re remove or replace the battery on your laptop. If yours is not holding up anymore charge you just simply want to remove it or replace it and this video is for you. It is a little bit complicated on this on this laptop to remove the battery. They didn't make life easy. So I'm going to take you on every single step, how you're supposed to do it and the proper way of uh, installing it. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a tip on how to keep the performance of the battery at the best state possible. All right, first thing first, power off the laptop completely. And then you want to flip it upside down. Now we're going to go over the tools. All the tools will be linked in the video description in case you want to purchase for yourself. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. I purchased myself the main basic set. You're gonna use a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro, pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a, a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is a sort of opening cases and power. A pair of tweezers are good to have and a plastic spatula is a good thing to have too. All right, with all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. Down here, we're gonna see three screws on the right side and three screws on the left side, and one single screw on the mid back. You're gonna remove the right three screws and the left three screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. You're gonna leave this one for the end, I'll let you know why. All right, so go ahead and remove the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now we're going to remove this screw almost done. All right, these screws are the same size. Now, the reason I said don't remove this one is because this one has a little something called a C-lock on the other side. The C-lock will prevent the screw coming out entirely and it has a different purpose too. And the use for C-lock is also to separate the case from the cover here. So if I start rotating this one, you're gonna see a tiny gap opening on the case. And then you just wanna let go. And that gap, it helps you to put the opening tool or guitar pick in this case, in this gap right in there. And then you just, once you're in there, you just wanna open it and you hear that big nice click sound. That's what you wanna do. You wanna work all the way to the right. Hear those click sound. You're not breaking anything, you're just loosening up the clips. Same thing in here. Do the sides and the top portion. Do not do the bottom portion of the case. All right, once you did the side and the back, you wanna grab it from here and then lift it up and then pull it towards the back so you can release the clips on the front end. Those are the hooks. All right, so down here, we still don't see the battery. We see the storage, RAM, the heat sink, everything, but the battery is not visible. So I can see the battery logo uh, text over here, and we can disconnect it right here. So we can go ahead and start disconnecting. Once I disconnect this, I see the cable goes through here. That means the battery has to be down here somewhere. I don't know, maybe it's one or two, or there's two of them in here. To get to the battery, we need to remove this humongous cover in here. Before we do anything, we want to remove the back grill cover. The back grey cover has two screws that are externally shown in here. One in here by the power charge connector and one right on the opposite side. Go ahead and remove these screws. These are the short screws. Put them on a different pile so you don't mismatch them. All right, once you remove these ones, now we need to pull this cover towards the back. But there's a tiny latches in here that will prevent you from doing it. You can put the opening tool right in there and lift it up like that and help it to lift up those covers. Once you lift it up, you can just with a little force push it towards the back and leave it like that. Don't do too much. And do this other side. Put it in there. And then a little force, it will pull it back. Now you can slide this cover towards the back. Now we can see that there's a hidden screws in here too. 
So first thing first, we want to remove the side uh, connectors, LED connectors, which are in here. So you want to lift up this connector upward, and the one on here, lift it upward. Next, we're going to start disconnecting, removing the screws. We want to remove all the screws. The screws are labeled. It says M2.5L. Leave all the M2.5Ls in one one and anything else on a different side. So go ahead and remove all the screws that it says labeled with an M2.5 times LA. So I see one, two here, three right over here. I attach a little magnet to here so it makes it a little more powerful. Remove the screw by the fan right there. Remove right in here. To the right. By the fan here. In the middle. Right there. And one right over here by the Wi Fi connector. And three at the back rail. I mean, it's where you remove the grill cover. All right. Once you remove these ones, you want to put them in one pile. We are going to disconnect the hard drive connector right there. We want to remove the, any SSD that you have. In this case, there's only one SSD. Remove the screw for the SSD. Lift it up. Pull it back in 45 degree angle. All right, once you're done with those, you do want to untangle this one a little bit. Maybe not, just I untangled it for whatever reason. Now we want to remove the screw for the Wi Fi board. All right, remove this screw. We need to lift up the cover. So let's bring it up a little bit and then slide back the cover. And then we're going to slide back the Wi Fi and then unplug the connectors. Are right, we almost done there? You could remove the hard drive, but or you can leave it. There's nothing you don't need to. Maybe you have to, but the screw might have hold it from the case from the bottom. I'm not too sure, but I doubt it. I'm going to leave it on for now, so let's see. But I'm pretty sure that you don't need to remove the hard drive caddy. Just double check. We are going to remove the LED lights on the corner, remove one screw from there, and one screw on this side. Well, if the screw is not coming out, you don't have to force it, just leave it there. Now we need to lift up this cover upward. You want to follow it, and you want to stick the opening tool between the grill. And let me show you what I'm sticking at right here. Between in here, and I'm just giving a little help. Working myself all around. Then put the towel. This laptop is huge. So I'm doing the front end. So I'm guessing this is screw. It is holding the case, so yeah. So we're gonna remove these screws for the hard drive. Put it in a different pile. Remove four screws for the hard drive, caddy. All right. And now you can lift up the hard drive and put it to one side. Okay, let's go and continue. Lifting up. This case went back down. Let's turn in the butt. There we go. Yeah, this is screw in the here. This is screw don't hold the case, but this screw down here, one of them it does. So I'm sticking it right at the last, and there we go. We got the click. Work yourself all around to the other corner. And pretty much we are done. Let's put this towel in here. Once you did the side, the front, the rest is history. Just lift it up, wiggle it around, and bring it up gently with these connectors in here. 
and this Wi-Fi cable they have to be released right there so you have the bottom cover right there put this one to one side and then right away there we can see the battery right in here so this is a 68 watt hour alien where it says 15.2 the battery model is an 44T2R I'll try to get the link for this compatible one I'll leave it in the video description see the cable come through here to remove it we need to remove one screw right in here two three and one in the middle four screws so there's four screws that hold this battery in place down here all right once you remove these four screws you can lift up the battery straight up and there you have it this one is kind of higher the tech it has a little more feeling but I don't know if there's a higher capacity than 68 watt. Maybe they have made a different when you're watching this video. They have a higher capacity. You can grab it. Simply, it comes with this cable. You want to align it, put it right in there, drop it down, make sure it's not moving, and then put the three screw, the four screws that you removed. The rest of the screws goes from the bottom casing, so don't put the screws where you're not supposed to. So you can mark it with a sharpie so you know where you remove them. So once you have the new battery in, simply you want to grab the, if you want to replace the CMOS battery, it's right over here, has an adhesive, and just pull this jack backward, it will disconnect and then plug it back in. Right, so grab this power, make sure this Wi-Fi cable stay on top, put it, set it down straight, push down the corners, make sure those tiny clicks in the front, those nice big click sounds, put this, Connector right in there. Just slide it right there. The left and the right side. Right, and then we're gonna put the tiny screws for this one. These are for the RGB side lightnings. Right, once you put that one in, you're gonna go straight for the Wi-Fi. You're gonna grab these connectors. You're gonna align them straight away and we're just gonna pinch them together and you should make a tiny click sound each one of them one by one there we go once you have that one in there this paper thing is put right underneath bring it up now what you want to do you want to slide it inside the connector inside the jack and before you put it all the way down you can grab this bracket to prevent the cables coming out loose, slide it right over and then push it down and put the tiny screw that you removed right there. Now this cable right in here, let me just pull the cable right underneath. There we go. So run the cables in here. You didn't have to remove it, but I did it. Then plug in this cable straight to the connector. And push it down evenly. Do the same thing on this side. There we go. All right, once you're done with those, grab the hard drive, set it down, put it right in there, take the connector and it's straight, put it right in on the on top of the connector and then push it towards the motherboard and we'll click in. Run the cable between these grooves, put the four screws for the hard drive carry to keep it in place. So we know that this single screw on this side it holds the case too. So you can for the next time you only remove this one. You don't need to remove all three of them. But you do need to disconnect it from the motherboard. Alright. Next, grab the hard drive, the SSD, or whatever SSD you have. If you have different ones, we start putting them back in. Alright, to 
first go ahead and put the three screws at the back right in here once you put the three screws at the back we can go ahead for once for all grab the grill and bring it right over just squeeze it in there make sure it clicks in and now to finish it off it's just to put the rest of this uh, screws whatever you see in a screw hole which is marked so you don't want to put nothing in the corner which is there is no marking for the screws whatever you see it says m2 place one of these screws they're all the same size and height so don't worry about mix matching you see you don't want to put anything on that that goes from the bottom cover so i'm going to fast forward this part but we are almost done and what am i missing where am i it's right over here there we go once you're done with all this got the battery connector and then you just want to plug it in straight in pinch it all the way in grab the bottom cover bring it down in 45 degree angle the front end first scoop this side in and then put it down squeeze the corners make sure you do nice big click sound do not push on here push on the side to hear those clicks but do not push in here you want to tighten up the screw the screw will push pull the cover to itself and if there's any more gaps opening you just want to push them down really hard it will just squeeze into its place and to finish it off is to just put the two tiny screws on the grill which is on top here and the rest of the screws on the casing now regarding the new battery once you put the new battery on the laptop you do not want to power on the laptop right away if you do power it on right away by mistake don't worry about it just power it down quickly and then you want to plug in the charger and you want to let it sit down let it sit for charging for at least four to five hours after four to five hours you want to power on the laptop and bring down the brightness of the screen down to 50 percent put some light load don't put any gaming or heavy load and you want to drain the battery down to 10 20 percent slowly over time once the battery is down to 10 20 percent you want to power it off and leave it for charging again for another four to five hours and after that you can just use it as you wish while plugged in or with the battery that initial charge and discharge it is very important for the new batteries and you should be doing that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its peak performance and again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. This is how you upgrade or remove your Alienware 17R5 battery.